Hey everyone. Um, so I'm just out for going out for a walk now. I've got my weighted bag on and I'm going to head out. And it reminded me that uh, about a video I shot in Japan. Actually, I haven't put up with. So I'm going to put it after this. Um, and what it is is, you know, we went out for a walk with my father-in-law, who is 71 years old, and he does that every single morning. He wa he walks two hours from four th from 5:30 to 7:30 in the morning every morning. Now uh, that's every season, uh, including you know in heavy snow. Um, the only time he doesn't go out is heavy rain, but it's very impressive. So I'll um. I'll leave the rest of that video after this and uh, I'm going to head out for my walk. Time for me to get some in. Alright, see you guys, see you soon. Okay, so I'm back from my walk. So I'm just going to explain a little bit more about this. Um, where I started this from, we'd already been walking for quite a while. Um, we're in a park in uh, Sendai. Now, Sendai is the city where we used to live, or close to it anyway we lived a, a fair bit out between the, the coast and the city um but we actually walked to the edge of the city and this actually was the park where during the the 311 the earthquake um eventually after the first couple of weeks this is where we were getting our water from and it's quite a, a fair walk there's another couple of maybe i think it was about three kilometers um from where we lived if you go direct path um so we had to walk uh that far to collect water and at the time we, were, we got um a couple of jerry cans at 20 liters each so i was carrying those 20 you know 20 liter cool um jet two of them back from the park with water for the family for uh for us to get through the, the each day you know every day we had to get through you know toilet flushing and things like that so um it just kind of reminded me of that you know the parking yeah it's a big beautiful park it's uh i mean it's it's big enough actually that um it spans a few suburbs and it actually has deer and other wildlife uh living there um it's really quite beautiful which i do have some more footage i'll put up in a different video Okay, so uh, let's get on with the walk video because it, it's quite, yeah, it's pretty, pretty impressive actually. He's seventy-one years old, and the pace that he walks at, you know, the, this city is very hilly. So there's a lot of up and down, and these hills are quite long and steep. You know, and it, the pace was very, you know, it's very fast actually. So. It's now six o'clock in the morning here in Japan, um, near a city called Sendai, where I've been, where I used to live. Um, I've just been for a walk around about a seven kilometer loop. We walked close to the city and around uh, some suburbs with my 71 year old father-in-law uh, at a pace that I could barely keep up with. Uh, you know, people wonder why Japanese live so long. You know, he's 71 years old. He's out here every single day. 5.30, he leaves home. He does a seven kilometer uh, loop around um, the suburbs and close to the city. Then he comes up to this park where I am now. You can see behind me. And he meets a group of uh, other older people and they do exercises together. Okay, I thought it was other older people. Actually, it was a whole range of ages, actually. Even children were up there in this exercise group. Um, now, I didn't get too close to them because I didn't want to get, you know, I didn't want to infringe on their privacy, but you'll get the idea. And there's, you know, this path has this uh, large common area and seats and everything, and then all these pathways. And they were sort of lined up along these pathways. Um, and there's quite a few of them. You know, and young and old, they were there doing this exercise class. It was really cool. So let's continue. Every meal they eat, he eats three meals a day. 
uh, all meat based okay um, not always beef a lot of its fish uh, he likes a fish called katsu um, tuna uh, salmon you know and many other things he eats all sorts of seafood but he also eats a lot of beef pork uh, chicken yeah, they eat a lot of meat you know and we just walked past the vending machine with uh, they sell the wagyu beef okay a vending machine uh, I've walked this morning we did a seven kilometer in a seven kilometer loop we've passed three yakiniku tabi holdays tabi holdays okay so they barbecue restaurants um, and two butchers they are everywhere all right that's, that's, this is why they live so long, because they're healthy. We are built to move. Remember um, our, in my lymphatic system videos, okay? Our lymphatic system keeps us healthy. Our lymphatic system needs, well, to keep us healthy, it needs us to move so that we can push that lymph fluid all around our bodies, yeah? And we can move all that, that uh, fat-soluble vitamins, minerals, proteins, all around our body and through our bones and keep us healthy and uh, that's how you live longer okay you keep moving you never stop yeah okay so this is the park and you know the top of the park and you can see you know they're all lined up down these foot paths so I don't get too close but you can see in the background there that and it's all ages you know there's some children over there Okay, the middle, so, a little bit older. Now they just finished the exercise class and we are walking back through uh, we're gonna go mountain course back back home. You know, since I've been here I haven't seen anyone on a mobility scooter. Not one person on a mo mobility scooter. Back home in Australia, they're very common use. You know. So, yeah. And the proof is in the pudding, you know. They're very active. We are built to move. You take that movement away, you get sick and you die. Yeah? Keep moving. Now you can see this is uh, along the path. It's actually quite a, a lovely park. Um, I didn't film all of it, just... Uh, yeah, obviously it would be too long a video to be honest. So I'll just skip ahead a bit. But this was the pathway. It comes all the way through. Um, it comes down out to a playground area. Actually, it's got um, quite a large playground in this park. Um, I didn't film this day on the walk, uh, but I, I do have another video I'll, I'll probably put up, you know, with, um, you know, they've got this large lake area as well. You can feed uh, koi fish and ducks and things like that as well. Um, but it comes out at a train station that uh, we used to use all the time, use the, the subway station, actually. Um, it's about a 20 minute walk. So we used to walk 20 minutes to the subway every day um, for work and things like that. And there's a, a really large set of stairs um, it was always great for training on actually it's about a hundred stairs high and um, it's really just great training but this path also is you know this is very hilly and we're just walking through this park it's really beautiful actually let's skip ahead a bit there we go And you can see, you know, it's quite dense forest. So actually quite a lot of wildlife live here still. Um, I'm not sure about bears, but it definitely does have deer living in there. Okay. It's now 7.30. We were walking for two hours at a pace that was very difficult to keep up with. My father-in-law was 71 years old. My wife had to run to keep up at times. And the only time we stopped was to do an exercise class in the park with 50 other um, locals. So they were young and old. It's amazing. Yeah. As I said, we are built to move.
and that, that's what they do. And so they stay, stay healthy, you know, eat meat and move. Okay, so that was the end of the walk. Um, yeah, I, actually, I wish I could have filmed the whole lot, actually, but uh, yeah, it would make for quite a long video, you know, two hours of walking, but um, it, it's uh, it's quite inspiring as well. Uh, it's sort of motivating as well. It uh, motivates me a bit more too. Um, he's got so much energy, you know, at, at 71, he's got a, a lot of energy. He just, and he goes... Is very fast. So that was uh, our walking morning in Japan, and um, you know, he, as I said, he did that every single morning, and he still does. Um, so I'll leave it there, guys, and I hope you all have a fantastic day uh, and keep moving, keep pushing forward. All right, see ya.